hey guys what's up? welcome back to our tech is and in this video i'm gonna show you how to fix frp lock problem on your samsung device so it is this is a samsung phone in my hand and basically it's uh, locked with the frp stuck on the frp lock screen and it's asking uh, to use the email id that is uh, used while before resetting the device and basically with the original id it's also not work sometimes so that's why i'm using it and you can also use it from this setting also and you can also use it uh, you can also use the back option let's see let me show you so here it is just press the uh, three times the home button to uh, to start the talkback setting so when it's on just simply type l over the screen and you will be jump on that screen so again do that uh, l and it's a global context menu will be appear so simply jump on the talkback setting and then again you can easily turn off the talkback setting so it is a uh, turn off the talkback setting so then after that help and feedback so in the help just play the video and then press the time icon and you will be jump on the browser option and here you just simply uh, jump on the animatrix or you can search for animatrix so here it is i open the animatrix uh, or you can also search for the it's back animatrix frp so here it is you will be jump on samsung j5 prime frp unlock uh, samsung j7 all this here you will be get the option so basically on this uh, page uh, j7 j5 j2 frp lock page i have updated all the softwares so first of all download the sam launcher and second file you require to download development setting app so basically this is the bypass app apk app so simply download both and when it uh, seems uh, completely downloaded just to wait wait for a couple of minutes so depending upon the network speed so after that it seems it's successfully downloaded and you can see it's still on green apk if it's all still appear this green apk does not it it means that uh, the setting was not means uh, the downloaded was not completely refreshed so first you wait for that to refresh the download properly completed let's check it out okay it's still not completed when you click on it will so there is a passing problem but in original there is nothing no problem here it just uh, takes time to refresh means uh, list the all the downloads properly so just to wait until uh, the original logo for uh, lo for the sam launcher and the development setting appears so just to wait white for white Okay, now you can see the launcher uh, apk our tech is .net has been completely uh, successfully completed there is a launcher option also appear so again but uh, the dev setting app still not completed properly so just wait for the dev setting let's install the apex launcher for first and unknown source okay 
install the Apex Launcher. Okay, here it is. The launcher has been opened. I opened the launcher, and in the setting, let's check it out. Let's check it out another some settings here other setting security setting and device administrator and device on Let's uh, deactivate the find my device and deactivate the find my device and it's back. Now after that uh, search for the apps, uh, yeah, apps, yeah, apps and then get the enabled apps first. So system apps only and then yeah, Google account manager then you require to open the Google account manager and disable it. And after that you also disable the uh, Google Play services so also disable the Google Play services mm. and then search for the files here in the apex launcher you will be able to find for the files option my files here it is the uh, my files okay here i got some okay. here, here on the bottom you can see my files and open this okay depth setting is still uh, loading <laughs> it's still not done it's 10 minutes already gone but it's not uh, parsing properly but the file was completely okay there is no issue with the file and after some time I have seen it's now completed properly then I have been started so just simply install the file technocrate tricks This is the dev app setting basically. So just again, okay, everything is done. So now again, jump on the cloud and accounts and add a account to your uh, google account you require to add here and this method basically works on all the j series phone basically and it's also worked on some a series models also right now i'm adding my account here let's add it
while adding after uh, just uh, providing the password and everything uh, when signing in it will reflect some error but it's okay it is no problem it will genuinely so here it's uh, stopped basically it's completely okay it's normal so and after uh, signing just simply jump on the apps again let's jump over the app where is it check for the disabled apps basically so system apps and Android device, okay, no, there is nothing. On the apps, on the very top, you will find the disabled app basically. Right now, uh, these are all the enabled apps basically. So okay now here in the disabled app you will find that google account manager required to enable this again also enable the google play services so it's done now so again after that you simply restart your phone it's completely done now Okay, now you see it's, it's uh, checking the network. Basically, it will come now. All the jobs has been done. It will just automatically bypass the account. Okay, here you can see your email and contact successfully added. So that's it. It's completely done now. So now tap over the next.
now simply finish it all So now simply jump on the factory data reset setting and just reset your phone and now I'm just simply fast forwarding the video again because it will again take around 10 to 15 minutes to complete restore the phone. So that's it, so it's completely done after restoring the phone your phone will be completely look like completely new. So that's it, so now here it is, it's now my phone has been completely formatted. Uh, completely reset it to the factory reset so let's quickly set up my phone let's check it out agree all and next now there is no steps to uh, add any account or any like So skip it and that's it, it's done. So this is the way uh, in that way you can easily bypass your FRP lock successfully. So skip it and this method completely work on all the J series phone and also work on some A series phone also. So if you like this video then click on thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Thanks for watching this. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, you can see it's now okay. SIM card manager opened. So here it is. It's done completely. It's all everything is going on on the background. That's it. Thank you for watching this.